Interesting game, interesting the contrast between the, the sharpness of the respective attacks and how you have to try and deal with that. Kelly Brown, a shuffle and a, and a standstill, and he's punched back. Back, back three. Blair takes it upon himself, the captain, the scrum half, to kick and... Oh. Is taken out in the air? Finds is the referee, but a, a boo and a groan from the crowd, but Ireland have space to exploit now. O'Driscoll looking for that space, sets himself free, long pass to Carney, and Carney for the corner. A glorious try from Ireland. And Rob Carney scores his first try in Irish colours. Well, that was the precise Ireland that we didn't see against Italy in that first 30 minutes. It was a great field of kick by Murphy. Again, he had to sprint about 30 yards to take that. Oh. Referee could have pulled that up for a penalty because he was tackled in the air, but he decided not to call it. And from the ruck, O'Gara saw the gap. And look at the space in front of him. He cut for that gap, really committed himself, okay, drew the defence. O'Driscoll then got in behind the Scottish defence, who was a, they were a little bit tight. Carney really shouldn't have been given that space on the wing, but he finished it off well. That was wonderful vision by O'Gara and by Driscoll as well, not taking too much out of it, just enough to commit the defence. Well finished by Carney. This one's certainly more difficult than his first conversion attempt, but Scotland stands sick beneath the posts. Lone lament from a bagpiper. And O'Gara's kick is true. Two tries, both converted. And Ireland's lead is 11 points. Yeah, you've got to sympathise to an extent with Scotland. They haven't done an awful lot wrong. Ireland have been clinical any time they've got the, the chance, any time they've got possession, which has been rare enough in the Scottish half. They've finished it off.